What is some poor people food that you will eat no matter how wealthy you get? Rice and beans. So many ways to make it delicious and nutritious. I've even got one of my kids on rice and beans. I'll saute black beans in a bit of bacon grease with bacon bits over rice. Can't get enough of it. NGL, that actually sounds bomb. And people say eating vegan food is expensive load. Quite often that rice is cooked with chicken broth and the beans with pork fat. Rice and beans were probably my most eaten meal during my 12-year vegetarian stint aside from the obvious dishes, arroz con polo, ropa vieja, a lot of the Latin foods I grew up with were easily made vegetarian. That being said, I could never trust that anything my grandmother made was vegetarian she always forgets that chicken is meat. The best with a tortilla. And a side of cut up serrano jalapeno. My go to meal. For life. Specifically, red beans and rice, the peak of the genre. Nah, definitely black. And if you can get a ham hock on the cheap, even more perfection. MMMM, red beans and rice as a side to some gumbo or some fried chicken. Or just as a whole dish in itself. I must admit I don't think I've ever had it, it's not common where I'm from. Care to share your favorite ways to make it and which beans you use? So many options, depending on what kind of beans are available where you are. Some of my favorites. Coconut rice with red kidney beans, aka Jamaican. Rice and peas. Mexican rice with black beans. Black bean dip. Cowba caviar. Mung bean stew over rice. Refried pinto beans with a tortilla. Mujadara, rice and lentils. Chili with beans. Red lentils tomato sauce. Good with rice or with spaghetti. Egyptian breakfast beans, fowl metams, are great with a pita. This. And especially lentils. Add some frozen mixed veggies. It can be dressed up, but doesn't really need it to be delicious. Beans on toast. Go sit in the corner. Oh boy, Indian staple food. Raja Choro. Nice how both can be easily found in bulk for cheap. Bread and butter. Mac and cheese with cut-up hot dogs. This. The perfect combination. Add ketchup and asterisk chef's kiss star. Stove top stuffing. Tin sardines on crackers. It's curious. The only people I know, in America, who eat tinned fish are yuppie professionals like me, and immigrants. But they are such cost-effective means of healthy fat and calories. Shout out to our slash canned sardines. They've definitely had something of a cultural renaissance in the last few years. When I was a kid no one ate them, and it was a punchline to jokes. Now I've been to fancy gastropubs where they serve you sardines still in the mate eyes can. I think it's a combo of people who have discovered that sardines don't taste fishy at all, I think people have confused sardines and anchovies, and that canned sardines have way less mercury than canned tuna. Plus, the health benefits and their compatibility with diet trends like keto and paleo. I wish more places sold sardines in a mustard sauce. Brown gravy over white bread. There was a point in my childhood when that was dinner. I remember my mom crying while I ate, but it was delicious. I still keep instant gravy in the house for the occasional comfort food feast. That sounds why better than bread and vinegar, which shrinks up your stomach and makes you feel not hungry. Perigees. Easy to make, cheap and easy to freeze. Different ways to make them. Peanut butter toast. Hey. Cheese toast. Little Debbie Nutty Bars. Happy Cake Day. I'm pissed they discontinued the regular brownies. I don't like the candy on the cosmic version. But I agree, Nutty Bars and other Little Debbie snack will always be in my pantry, even if I was rich. Lentil Soup Baked Beans I just love em. Also, Lentil Soup I don't know if it's considered a poor man meal, but it's definitely very cheap and very tasty. Ramen but if someone already said that. Kebabs Cheese of choice plus carb of choice 
or just cheese of choice and skip the carb. Honestly, sometimes just the carb alone works. And now to age myself, the cheese stands alone. Tortillas with butter. I don't make it anymore, but growing up on military bases my mom would often make SOS or shit on a shingle with creamy chipped beef on toast. I would put that stuff down and still would. I just might give it a shot this week. Red beans and rice. I'd still eat craft dinner, I'd just eat more. Hamburger helper. I will eat that shit until I die. It's incredibly tasty for something that's seemingly so simple and it brings me back to simply being a little kid again. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Beanie weenies, baked beans with hot dogs. Mac and cheese, burritos, hamburger. Sugar bread, bread, butter, sugar, and sometimes rainbow sprinkles. Also known as fairy bread. Kielbasa, bell peppers, onions and rice. Good stuff. Ramen. I fry it up in hot oil after I boil it. Onions and soy sauce. Canned meat slash fish slash seafood. Peanut butter noodles. Brown beans and cornbread. Grits. Stephen King eats Hungry Man TV dinners. Bibi and J. Ramen. Craft a mac and cheese. Hot dogs. I raise you cheese dogs. Corn dogs. I call with chili cheese dogs, outside the tasty freeze. Craft mac and cheese. Canadian found. Edit. My sincerest apologies to all the Americans offended by this post, I would never dream of separating you from all your craft mac and cheese boxes. They'd have called it craft dinner if they were Canadian. It's still super fucking popular in the States but we don't call it craft dinner. What are you talking about? Craft a mac and cheese is incredibly popular in, at least, the United States as well. Seems odd to think it's specific to Canada. It's craft dinner in Canada. With the powdered cheese, not the cheese packets. Jiffy corn bread. Jiffy is still a thing in our house. The corn bread, the blueberry muffins, reminds us of our childhoods. Have you ever had Jiffy corn casserole? It's my favorite thing in the world. Butter on a flour tortilla warmed up, my brother put me on it. If you add honey and cinnamon sugar, you have got a poor woman's sopapilla. Excellent comfort food. My grandmother would pass these out after school. We still eat this. They're so good. I'm celiac but the Mission GF are so good too. Pork chops with rice smothered in cream of mushroom soup. Pork chops were at the beginning of the month when we had money. By the end of the month, it was hamburger rice and cream of mushroom gravy. Still a good meal. Peanut butter. Dal and rice. With zero shame, spaghettios. With meatballs. Biscuits and gravy. I get very grouchy if I don't have a biscuit and gravy meal at least once a week. A lot of store brand products are just as good as the big name product, sometimes they're even better. Typically the store brand products are produced by name brands. I believe the Walmart Greek yogurt is just differently packaged than non, and it's 64 cents instead of $1.29 per cup. Pasta, lots of pasta. Fried Spam Melt Sandwich Boy, does Spam smell bad when you first open the can, but goddamn does it hit the spot when you fry it and toss it in the middle of a grilled cheese sandwich. Totino's Combination Party Pizzas They used to cost 99 cents, but now they are $2.98. Cheap shitty pizza, but out of the oven it's crispy and just hits a spot that no other frozen pizza can. I ate one tonight. Shepherd's Pie Hamburger and gravy over mashed potatoes with peas or onions mixed in. Simple yet grand. Fried dough. Can spam, pork and beans, eggs and steamed rice. Beans and cornbread. A lot of poor people food is now popular and expensive. BBQ, lobster, wings, ground beef. Thanks for that I just had to read up on the history of lobster. 
Stuffers mac and cheese, also those banquet pot pies are. White bread with butter, add garlic and onion powder and throw it in the oven for a few minutes and you've got the best garlic bread ever add a little cheese if you're feeling fancy.